So what's going on gamers? I just wanted to tune in real quick to something that I think is going to be the most important part of 2K gaming and how it is going to be moving forward. I think the biggest thing that they really have to focus on is going to be matchmaking and ranked gameplay. If they are able to add that section into this game, I think it's going to drastically change a lot of it. So right now, you can play your online societies with your friends or create something from the community. You could also do your My Career, but in all honesty, your My Career, after pretty much winning a lot of the tournaments, you can change the difficulty settings to make it look somewhat competitive. But that's going to be dry because a lot of the people play this game specifically, so that way they can play with friends or compete against other people in the community. Unfortunately, when this game first came out, this section of this game was like completely unplayable for a lot of it. You couldn't even get into a 2v2 game. I've noticed now, uh, I don't know if it's just PS5, but when I was on the PS4, I was able to get some games as well. You have been able to get into a game, but obviously searching for players can still take a good amount of time. The online societies can be great, but eventually you're going to have to log in and join so many different societies just so you can regularly play this game if you wanted to. 2K really needs to find the ways to get people to want to play this game every day, just like their basketball game or hopefully their football game moving forward that we're all very excited for. But the draw to get people to play this game on a regular basis, or even, I mean, people are still playing it on a regular basis. They're designing excellent courses. They're playing with their friends. But a really big draw to get more and more people to this community would be a ranked game mode. If you can go online in the servers, find a match pretty quickly, and be able to choose the different types of styles of gameplay slash difficulty levels you want to play on, that is going to be so huge for getting more people to this game. Right now, all you can do is play on a pro setting, it's got putt previews on it, and you have no real ability other than a four or five different game modes that you can play. And then on top of that, when you're in the game, you have a bunch of people quitting on you, you have a bunch of people, when they do quit on you, you don't get any XP for it. Or you have a bunch of people you can't even report after they start losing one or two holes. They just start hitting drivers on greens and just causing shot limits to be hit because they're upset that they're losing and they think it's funny that they want to take it out on you. You can't even punish these people or find a way to ban these people. And it really takes away from this game mode completely because there is no checks and balances in it. If we have the ability to log into this game, hop up into the online matchmaking servers where we can choose whether we want to play on beginner because some people are just new to the game and want to play against another person who's a beginner. Or maybe they want to play uh, someone who's on a legend. They want to play legend difficulty and they want to face somebody who's really good because that's what their skill level does. Or maybe they just want to add a handicapping method to it. That's all stuff that isn't available in this game mode right now. And that's simply put because I don't know if it's just a budgeting thing right now. I don't know if it's a budgeting thing right now or it's just because this game is so new to 2K. But it, you don't have that ability right now and it's severely lacking the ability to draw more people to this game. All that's really cared right now is the microtransactions with the season passes. We're still struggling a lot of the basic fundamental development issues like seeing what the lie angle is in the bunkers. Like right now you can't even see anything in the bunkers of whether you're on an upslope or a downslope. You pretty much have to guess based off of whether your guy is up or down. And that's not something that you can really... That's not something that you can really deal with. And like those are the little things, the the factors of just like quality of life things that are really important to a game of making it last and making it worthwhile going forward that we really can't get right now or at least have not been able to get. And I think I don't think this is going to be a thing as of in 2021, but hopefully in PGA Tour 2K 2022, this is something that we can get moving forward. Just the ability to hop in a different lobby with different people or people of your caliber, play a different game mode, and just try to just play to the level that you want to play in the online matchmaking. 
it'll take a little stress off the online societies. It'll probably take a lot of stress off the TGC tours. And it would put a lot more fun in the game where I can hop up, I can play a quick match of three holes, six holes, nine holes. And in all reality, you don't even need to have, like, you don't need to have restricted lobbies where, like, only legends play in legends. Like, have have a, a variety where they're, like, you can you can suggest that you want to play in a pro level, but you're open. It's open lobbies where if you can't find a match because there's not enough players, that's fine. You just move to the next level up or down, and you can choose whether you want to go up or down. Like that should be just like basic fundamental quality of life things, so that way we can make this game better and get more people to this game. Because the more people they get to this game, the more money they'll make, which is happier, and hopefully the more devs that they will hire and put towards the budget of this game. This game is not going away anytime soon. They've committed to this game. It was pretty successful, and obviously we just want to make this game better moving forward. So I think the only way you can do that is to put in a ranked online game mode with a matchmaking ability to pretty much, to pretty much fill the needs of what the community wants for online. This is just my own personal opinion. Obviously... It can, it can be wrong. Some people just want to stick to their online societies. Some people are just pretty much stuck in with playing the My Career. That's, that's the good thing of having multiple different availabilities for people to play this game. This is just one that I really think would take this game to a completely next level. And I hope that is something that they, they look at and actually consider in the next year's model. So that's pretty much going to be this little kind of, it's not really a rant, but this little talk here of just how I think this game should be approached moving forward. And that's just that's just my own personal opinion. Um, agree, disagree, definitely leave the comment sections below if this is something that you're also considering. Or maybe leave your comments below if you just disagree with my position here. I'm always open to just conversation about these things. And if you love this video, thank you so much for tuning back in. Please subscribe down below. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers and like this video so I know that this is some quality content that you really enjoy and thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it.